Hello, this is Jason. Back with another walk and talk. And today is a beautiful day. Look at the beautiful sun setting in a clear blue sky. And also, if you've been watching my uh, latest walk and talk videos, and know what the uh, main topics of discussion were of those videos. Hopefully you uh, listened to them, went out and did your own research, and acted upon it. And today, you'd be a very happy person. <laughs> just like me so today was great and it's just beginning yesterday when I made a video I said that we we're 0.81% uh, into uh, into this run and today we're up to uh, 0.88%. So we're getting almost to 1% of my uh, expected market capitalization of Bitcoin within the next 10 years by November 2034. <clears throat> so still very early. So if this is the first video you're watching, first time you're hearing of these things, then it's not too late. And I, I had that mentality the past, you know, couple cycles where I'm like, uh, you know, things, I'm too late. Hello. And that was back when, you know, when I was buying, when I was buying at $200, $200 of Bitcoin, I'm thinking, man, $200 of Bitcoin. I, I'm too late. I wish I would have got in when it was 10 cents. Like, I can't believe I'm going to be buying this for, for $200. Like, <laughs> it's going to zero. It's going to zero, right? But I still bought it at $200 and it went up to $1,000. And I'm like, man, that's incredible. I gotta sell it. Favex my money, time to sell. It's not, it couldn't possibly go more than $1,000. I mean, this is, that's insane. <laughs> and then, then the next cycle comes along. And I remember buying it for two thousand dollars and like man I wish I would have just held on to it when it was two hundred dollars like you know that would have been so much better but I'm gonna buy it in at two thousand dollars and I think that's the the cycle it went up to twenty thousand dollars but I sold it before it, it hit that point because it I bought it at two and then I sold it at 10 again. I'm like, oh, five X my money. I'm great. You know, something like that. I don't remember. I can't even go back and see the trades because they were so long ago. <clears throat> but then in this, you know, in the last cycle, the third cycle, I think it was at, I remember buying it like eight or 10. And that's when it went up to like 60, 68,000 or 63, might've been 63. I forget what the last high was, the last cycle, something like that. But I, I got shook it, like shaken out of, of it. I didn't go all the way to the top again. When really the lesson that should be learned is buying it buying it at whatever price buying it today 
even if it does go down to you know 50 in the next month <laughs> it's going to be hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars per coin in the future and you'll look back and be like man i wish i would have bought it at 88,000. and that's another thing i had a friend you know this is I've, I've already stopped talking about bitcoin with my friends once after after the election's over i knew that we were off to the races and so if they weren't in by by then then you know talking about it to them after then like today i'm, I'm not going to post my crazy gains that i had and be like see you should listen to me i'm not going to gloat i'm not going to rub it in their face like the bitcoin model is stacks or stay humble and stack sats so you know if you did if you did look into bitcoin and take my advice and you did very well don't don't go rub it in people's face stay humble stack sats and sats are satoshis that's what uh bitcoin is divided into the individual units 100 million satoshis make up one bitcoin and that's another thing like some of my friends that i was talking about it's like <coughs> that i had been talking to bitcoin about they were like you know bitcoins for rich people who could afford and i think at the time it was like sixty two thousand dollars like who could afford buying a sixty two thousand dollar bitcoin <coughs> and that's when i realized they didn't even they didn't even understand that you don't have to buy a whole bitcoin like you could buy I, and i divided it up at the time and it was like seven one hundredths or something of of one cent <laughs> like if you have a fraction of a penny you can buy one satoshi the smallest unit of a bitcoin so whatever unit of whatever, however much money you have everyone has a dollar you can invest a dollar in bitcoin and if you would have invested a, a dollar in bitcoin at the beginning of the year you'd have two dollars and if you had invested a dollar into microstrategy stock at the beginning of the year you'd have like seven dollars and if you had invested a dollar into microstrategy options at the beginning of the year you could have ten thousand dollars there's people posting their gains from microstrategy options that have gone up ten thousand percent so i, I guess that's not ten thousand dollars from one dollar but whatever ten thousand percent is it's starting to get into math but i let's see what's uh let's ask what's ten thousand percent of one dollar Okay, $100. $100. Okay, okay, thank you, Gemini. So, if you invested a dollar in MicroStrategy Options at the beginning of the year, you could have $100. So, 100x. And that was... This past year was not even, like, the bull market year. What's coming up, 2025, that's going to be the good year. <laughs> 2024 is let's see what this notification was oh I just got a notification Bitcoin's now at $89,000 <laughs> I get a notification of every $1,000 market goes up so I've got a lot of notifications today and I remember telling my friend at lunch I was on the uh, the pizza lunch that's posted on my main channel so look back to whatever day that was and i was you know talking to bitcoin about to them and i'm like i'm like bitcoin's going to be at a hundred thousand dollars 
by the end of the year, and I, for, I forget what it was at that time, it was probably in the 50s, and I'm like, it's gonna be in, th in $300,000 by the November 2025 is not out of the realm of possibilities. And they said, yes, it is. It's like, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> and I'm like, talking about previous cycles and how the, you know, the halvening increases or decreases supply. And I was giving him a brief overview of why it, it would do that. And, he, and he's just like, uh, past performance does not, uh, what's the saying? Like past performance is not indicative of future gains. Like, and that's true with, with stocks. There's really no pattern with stocks. And that's what everyone knows. Like there's no stock that every four year, you know, 10 X's. And if there was, and it had been doing it for the past 20 years, people would probably be paying attention, but it's only done it three times before with Bitcoin. But after studying it and seeing why it happens and seeing that Bitcoin's not just funny money on the internet, it's actually a, a network and the network growth with a dwindling supply of it is what leads to the exponential gains in the price. Like imagine when the iPhone, when the iPhone was released that they had 1 million iPhones. And I don't even remember how many they sold when they first came out. But every four years, they cut how many new iPhones would be available. So they're like, oh, sorry. Uh, this year we only have 500,000 iPhones to sell but the demand for iPhones is going up while they are cutting the supply in half. What do you think that's gonna do to the price of each iPhone? That's, that's what's happening with Bitcoin. Governments, pension funds, corporations are all seeing the Bitcoin is growing, expanding, and that the performance in the price is the reflection of that and it's appreciating at like 50% a year and there's nothing else no other asset is is doing that like uh nvidia stock in the past year outperformed bitcoin but it didn't outperform microstrategy so that's that's what's going on <laughs> and nobody really understands it I, I was yesterday's video comparing it to you know the early days of the internet and and the internet is is the analogy to Bitcoin where Bitcoin is a network that's growing just like the internet was growing and MicroStrategy is like, you know, Amazon or Google, the people that, the first companies that took advantage of the internet and monetized it, that's what MicroStrategy is doing. It's taking this network that's growing at an exponential rate and leveraging it using capital markets to take full advantage of it and eventually they're going to be like one of the biggest banks in the world eventually they'll be using their bitcoin stock piles to make loans and just be a capital 
basically do what they're doing and scale it up like people that can't or won't buy bitcoin they could buy bonds they could buy you know micro strategy bonds they could buy micro strategy stocks <clears throat> and then the people that want a higher volatility higher performance than you can get from bitcoin can buy micro strategy stock or they can buy micro strategy options so they're they're providing a lot of capital market products that are built on top of bitcoin which way do i want to go today go down that path or go to my i think it's going to be pretty dark by the time i get to my bench but i did bring my headlamp so let's march that way mm. And this is what I want to do today to, to celebrate my victory of the day. Just go for a walk, watch the sunset, go on a walk through the trees. And I changed my uh, quote on pretty much everything on my ex account and Facebook and YouTube, everything quote that I really liked it says uh, the cheaper your pleasures the richer you'll be and so this is my pleasure it's just getting out and taking a walk this is about as cheap of a pleasure as you can have absolutely free <clears throat> And I don't really have any like, you know, high-end tastes. Even if I was like a, you know, if I had a hundred million dollars, I wouldn't go out and buy a Lamborghini or a Ferrari or any expensive car or a private jet. I wouldn't buy any of that stuff. I wouldn't buy a 10,000 square foot mansion or a yacht i just see all that stuff as wasteful like maybe i would go somewhere and rent a lamborghini for a day you know spend a thousand bucks and have a lamborghini for a day that's fine but i, I, I don't want this huge liability on me that could be crashed or and then you have to buy insurance it's super expensive insurance for it and somebody can come up and key it smack crash into you it's just not a good investment and that's coming from someone that's wasted a lot of money on just normal cars <laughs> i wouldn't buy uh you know a Five hundred thousand, a million dollar car, but I'd probably buy a, a brand new fifty thousand dollar car every year, or maybe even go up to like a Tesla Plaid. That's Model S Plaid, or even Model X Plaid. That's about as as rich as rich as I'd go. Whew. So I have, I have relatively cheap pleasures. <clears throat> and I like technology. So like buying a, a new phone every year, getting the latest and greatest in cell phones and earbuds, laptops. Maybe I would buy a brand new MacBook Pro every year and max it out specs wise. Where now I buy one like every other year, every three years. So nothing crazy. These are these are things that I got to start thinking about because it's going. We're off to the races. <laughs> oh. 
and yeah at some point I'm gonna you know I've already stopped talking about Bitcoin and MicroStrategy in my in real life to, to my friends in real life and eventually I'm gonna stop talking about it in on my YouTube videos but right now today was a good day and I'll probably even delete these videos so that there's no trace that you know having a video that said I sell everything I own and bought Bitcoin and MicroStrategy could be a, a dangerous thing a year from now if things go the way I think they're, they're going to go just making yourself a target even though there's no way to actually get the money out <laughs> if someone came to my house well I'd, first I'd know about it and I'm armed and dangerous <laughs> and I get notifications as soon as somebody enters my driveway or walks through my backyard or anywhere around my house so I know you're coming so beware of that well let's say someone does try and someone hello someone does uh actually get to me and catch me off guard somehow there's no way that I can actually get the money out like on the spot it'd take weeks months and, and in the case of my retirement accounts it'd take till I'm 59 and a half <laughs> my money's locked up like my company won't even let me do anything with like my 401k money until I actually quit the job then they let me roll it over into an IRA account but then those IRA accounts you, you can't I don't even think you can get the money out so I don't know it wouldn't be good and I never have much on me if someone got me right now I have a bottle of iced tea I got an Action 5 Pro that cost $350 and a DJI Mic 2 that was $100 my cell phone so you might get a little over a thousand bucks out of me <laughs> but I don't want to make myself a target is the whole thing stay humble stack sats and just live your life be nice to others don't gloat don't rub it in people's face I tried to uh, raise awareness even though there's very few people that actually watch these videos and I don't know how many that actually watched even took it seriously and looked into it and even then learned enough to have conviction to actually buy any of it like with me you know I was speculating in the beginning with Bitcoin which you know I was like oh, this could go up and if, as soon as it goes up I'll sell it but it's taken a while to go from being a speculator through being like a investor which is like okay I'll hold this for longer I'll hold this for a year I'd say that's like investor level to now I'm like you know I did that before with just a smaller portion you know say 5% which I even talked about at the, the beginning of this year have, you know just putting it in like 5 5 10% just to bounce out your portfolio hello just to kind of give you a little edge of performance but then I kept watching videos I kept reading things listening to Michael, Michael Saylor you know really go deep into Bitcoin 
and explaining it and explaining what his company's doing with it. I could get more and more conviction in seeing it's not just internet funny money that goes up and down. It's actually uh, Jeff Booth's another one. Listening to him, like he 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 says like the same thing a lot. So if you watch one like hour long interview of his, just watch the latest one, and you'll probably get the general idea of everything he's got to say. But he he really made me think about where he's talking about like if you price everything in Bitcoin, then the price of everything is just going down. Like the price of a house five years ago was 500 Bitcoin. Now it's 50 Bitcoin or, you know, it's not that. It's like it's five Bitcoin now and it used to be 50 Bitcoin. And before that it was 500 Bitcoin. And then four years from now, it'll probably be one Bitcoin or even less than one Bitcoin. And eight years from now, it'll be like 0 0.1 Bitcoin. So even having just 0 0.1 Bitcoin, which right now would cost $8,000, eight, eight years from now, you should be able to buy a house with it. And it's, and it's never gonna stop. That's another thing. Like with stocks and there's always, uh, you know, thinking of like the 08 crash and the dot-com bubble but with even like yesterday I showed that chart even those things that at the time were catastrophic events people were like oh my god I'm never gonna recover from this <laughs> it's like the uh, the lion dude the tiger dude tiger king whatever his name is it's in jail <laughs> never gonna financially recover from this but even those events that at the time were catastrophic and you zoom out now and even you could barely even see them they're just the smallest little little bumps on the chart <clears throat> and if you look at the swings like this year where it went from 72,000 down to 50,000 at the time people were freaking out selling and be like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. But four years from now, you're not even going to be able to see that on a chart. Oh, here's another of those electric unicycles. It's awesome. <clears throat> so that's the thing. Pricing everything in Bitcoin, everything gets cheaper. And if you could just get to you know, a tenth, tenth of it. Hello. Just like a tenth of a Bitcoin and forget about it for eight years, really, to go through two cycles from now. You will be amazed at what that's worth eight years from now. <clears throat> and especially don't look at it in 2026 or in, uh, when would the next one be? 20, 29, 20, 2030 will be the next bear market. So 2026 and 2030, those are go, both gonna be huge down years where you could see it drop like 50%. But ignore it, just hold on to it, don't even look at it. And then after that, the two years after the bear market, that's when it'll hit, hit its next peak. And it's so predictable. Like my friend saying, you know, like previous performance doesn't guarantee like future performance. But with Bitcoin, it's a predictable cycle and follows a pattern. And people that are actually following that pattern are making a lot of money so if you study Bitcoin study the patterns and then go in big 
when those patterns are coming up. Like if you really wanted to go big, wait until halfway through 2026, which would be the, the bear market and, and buy in there. But that, like the bear market in 2026 could be $200,000 of Bitcoin. That could be like the lowest price it reaches for the next cycle. <clears throat> so you can buy in lower now than what will be the low of the next cycle. Not financial advice. I shouldn't say you. Me. <laughs> you have to do your own research. <clears throat> So, hopefully there's someone out there that has, I've sparked some curiosity and they've gone out and done the work, learned, listening to Michael Saylor, Jeff Booth, I think who else would be good to listen to. If you're interested in a <clears throat> micro strategy. Oh man, I smell. Got a whiff of some some cannabis. <laughs> some cannabis among us. <clears throat> but if you're interested in micro strategy, look in the Quant Bros, Punter Jeff on Twitter. There's an irresistibly or ir irresponsibly long MSTR group on X. They have like X spaces where they talk about strategies and upcoming catalysts and and also Mike Strategy today just bought another I think it was two billion dollars of Bitcoin today and this is not even counted into the 42 billion that they're gonna buy over the next three years starting in 2025 so that's one reason that things went up so high today. And then they got the uh, QQQ index coming up. Hello. And then even uh, Thanksgiving is a catalyst because people go home for Thanksgiving and they tell their family, uh, you know, you should... Uh, you know, maybe they're, which this was, would be silly, maybe they're driving a new car or have something fancy that they bought with their recent gains. And be like, how did you afford that? Oh, I bought Bitcoin. I bought MicroStrategy. And then that gets their family members interested and they go buy into it. So there is like a, a Thanksgiving bump whenever people are going to be, you know, <clears throat> interacting with family members that they don't really talk to on a regular basis. So there could be a, a Christmas catalyst bump in the same way. <clears throat> then the FASB rules in January, and then possibly getting in, indexed into the uh, S&P 500, that'd be June, July. There's a lot of things on the horizon that are catalyst for microstrategy. And then that makes each of those catalysts are good for Bitcoin too, because microstrategy is the largest buyer of Bitcoin. And then also all the ETFs, all the buying they're doing, and the pension funds, and then the Treasury Reserve, Strategic Reserve Assets from the federal government of the United States for one million Bitcoin over the next five years. And when they do it, you guarantee that the UK will be doing it. All the other Western countries. And then that might even make China take interest in it. Be like, well, we don't want them to get a jump on us. And then it becomes a 
you know, a, 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 a digital war of who can acquire the most Bitcoin as far as governments and then corporations. Corporations have to already be seeing what MicroStrategy is doing and how it's performing. And they'll really take notice after the uh, new FASB rules take effect in January. And then the next quarterly report shows MicroStrategy's earnings off the charts. And then Microsoft in December is having a vote to see if they are going to hold Bitcoin on their balance sheet. That would be if they say yes, then you can guarantee that Amazon and Google and all these other top companies are going to be doing it too. Like there's, this is nobody, nobody is bullish enough. If anyone thinks that 88,000 dollars of bitcoin is the top and you should be taking profits now and you know locking in your gains they're crazy because none of the stuff that i just said has hap happened yet it's it's insane <laughs> uh so I need a drink. <sighs> Hello. <clears throat> oh man. <sighs> and I don't know if anyone's listening. I know my my friend Robert. He's made a comment on some of the past videos, and I know he bought into Bitcoin and I want to thank him because he reminded me in January this year that the Bitcoin ETF was about to go live because I had kind of not been paying attention I wish I was I wish I was paying attention back in 2022 when it was bottoming out where I had seen the headlines and you know FTX crashing I was aware of all that and, and watching Bitcoin like plunge but it seemed like a too dangerous of a time to get in I didn't know where the bottom would be but when I seen it drop you know what 30 40 50 percent should have been like well that's big enough drops to start loading up and if I would have loaded up when it was at like 16 17 thousand Man, man. <laughs> uh, well, I'm happy where I'm at now. You know, hindsight's 2020. Can't beat yourself up. And 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 don't be like, you know, I, I do have those thoughts. Man, I wish I'd have loaded up at 16, 17. But don't let that stop you from buying where we are now. Not financial advice. <laughs> because if you research and learn about Bitcoin and learn why the price goes up, learn why it becomes so scarce, learn that it's a it's a network, not some imaginary funny money that has no value. It has tons of value. It's it's uh, the greatest invention since the internet, and we're still very early in the adoption phase. So it's like getting in on the internet in the '90s when hardly anyone used it in the early 90s so that's all I'm saying don't if you think that you're too late I could say you're not and it's up to you to go find out why that is 
I've given you a lot of breadcrumbs of things to go look at, but you have to go actually convince yourself. Never take someone's word because if you went out and bought Bitcoin just because I said it's going to 300,000 by the end of the year and then it goes from 88 down to 50, you're going to sell it, no doubt. You're like, oh my God, I just lost twenty, thirty thousand dollars I got to get out before I lose it all. Because you, you don't know why you're even holding it. You have to know why you're holding it and what where it'll be in the future and why it's not going to zero. So once you know that, a drop from 88 to 50 is nothing. That just means that you could buy more at 50. And then that's the time to go sell, go sell stuff in your house like I've been doing. Selling everything I own so I can get more. That's the kind of conviction I have where my $500 stereo amplifier, since I sold that, it, it's already doubled what it was worth. That $520 is now $1,040 in my bank account or in my brokerage account. <laughs> so why would I have just let that amplifier sit on my desk even if I was using it it's not worth a thousand forty dollars selling it and converting it to Bitcoin was the best thing that I could have done where I actually sold it and converted it to MicroStrategy shares <clears throat> and I loaded up on MicroStrategy options so That's what I'm doing. <laughs> and I'm just hoping it inspires people to, you know, I'm not trying to brag. I really am trying to stay humble and stack sats, but I feel like this is like back, back when the internet was around too, I'm like trying to get everyone to get interested in it. And no one, no one was interested. And if I had money back in those days, I would have bought bought into the companies that were using it to grow their business, like Amazon, Apple, and Google. <clears throat> but back then, I, I didn't really have much. <clears throat> so, hello. And I didn't really have that much this time around. More, more than I have in previous times. But it's growing. And it's growing enough that it's going to uh, provide me independence sooner than I had expected to have independence. Financial independence means not having to go work at a job for someone else. <sighs> Hello. <clears throat> and hopefully other people go out, do some research, make some investments of their own choices, and it improves their lives. That's my goal. <sighs> someone told me they were able to improve their lives because of I brought attention to these things for them. That's really all I'm looking for. And then I'm going to exit stage right probably by the end of next year <laughs> and walk off into the sunset. Maybe you will too.
are we at? All right, we should be getting pretty close to the clearing. We're already at 45 minutes. I was walking a little slower today. Usually when I'm doing the walk and talk, I don't walk as fast as I do when I'm you know, trying to reach my peak, my peak walking speeds. <laughs> Because if I walk that fast, then I'm just totally out of breath. Even walking at this speed, you can hear me doing a little huffing and puffing. But when I max out my walk speed, I'm really huffing and puffing. I don't want to be huffing and puffing too loud in your ear. <clears throat> and I haven't really had any comments. There's people, that, you know, I'm getting some views on these videos. Like the, the biggest one was the one where I said I was selling everything I own and buying Bitcoin and market strategy. Got over 100 views. But I don't think anyone commented besides my friend Robert. I've had people message me on Instagram and just say that they've been, enjoyed listening. They listen to them like a podcast. But I don't know that anyone has actually looked into Bitcoin or MicroStrategy and made any decisions on whether to invest. But that's another main point is even though it's at $88,000 right now, you don't have to have $88,000 to invest. That's not, you don't have to buy whole Bitcoin. And MicroStrategy is up to like three hundred and fifty dollars, I think. Three sixty, forget. And I just bought it at two twenty-two last week. <laughs> it's so nuts. And I made a video telling you guys when I was doing it. And that's just getting started. It's not out of realm of possibilities for MicroStrategy to be at $3,000 a share by the end of the year, if not higher. <sighs> but they're, they're gonna split shares before they get there. If they get up to like $1,000, $2,000, they'll do a, another 10 to one split because they wanna keep their share price on an individual share basis as low as possible because that helps keep the option market cheaper because just to buy one one option you have to you have to buy a hundred of them all right that was 48 minutes 2.81 miles so uh, Maybe if you go back and look what I said, when I said it, what I said was gonna happen, and what has happened since then, you might see that, uh, you know, things that I said were gonna happen are happening. I'm not blowing smoke out of my rear end. Not about this stuff anymore, anyway. <laughs> oh. But even if you don't, at least I tried. But I had a very good day. Very, very good day. Mm. And now I'm gonna sit here and chill. And then I'm gonna call my mama and walk home with my headlamp on dark through the dark in the woods. It was very relaxing, very peaceful. The cheaper your pleasures, the richer you'll be. And stay humble and stack sats. That's what I'm going to sign off on. And a stack sats, one, a sat is a satoshi. And that's the in, smallest individual unit of a Bitcoin. Which is one one hundred millionth of a Bitcoin, which is less than one penny. So that's what a sat is. Stay humble, stack sats. 
which means you don't have to buy a whole Bitcoin. You can buy a dollar worth of Bitcoin. So, and Robinhood and Strike, those are software that I use to buy it. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. I'd be really interested in anyone that has actually looked into this and done some research on Bitcoin and MicroStrategy. Watch some MicroSailor videos. Like a real long one that he did like a year or two ago was like a four hour podcast he did with Lex Friedman. And that explains a lot. I listened to the whole thing. So, there's a ton of information out there to educate yourself for free. Do, your, do yourself a favor. Go educate yourself. It could change your life. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Take it easy.